Okay. Welcome to week number four for Lynn. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our free six week course where our slimmers are trying to lose a stone in the six weeks before Christmas. Hi, Lynn. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, are you? Good, thank you very much. So Good. we haven't lost anything this week. No. Nope. However, we are still four pounds down since when we started. Yes. Which is, of yes. course, a great big positive, isn't it? It is, yes. And I feel a lot happier about everything. Using, you know, smaller portions, watching what I eat. Um, yeah, it, it, it's making me feel better, which is good for me. That that makes me feel a lot happier. Yeah, this is what you said just before we started. You're actually feeling healthier, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes. And why do you think that is? Is it your food choices have changed? Are you eating more regularly? Yes, a bit of everything and just not eating everything in sight. You do actually think, well, do I really want that as much as I'd like it? No, you know, I go for a bit healthier choice or uh, like portion control. I don't have as much. Yeah. And feeling fuller. Like the other day we had lunch at lunchtime and I didn't, I only had like bit of, I think it was like a slice of beans on toast at night. And that was it. I was quite happy. I was full. I didn't feel like the need to have a full blown meal again. It was just yeah, nice. And this is where listening to your body, because you do do a physical job. And actually, for people who work like yourself, having your big meals or at least a big amount of protein earlier on in the day is really important because that's what's going to get you through the day without yes. you coming home and just feeling completely exhausted and starving hungry, which a lot of people do do that have a physical job. And also it's uh, thinking of like when you come in and make a drink or because we obviously live on the job, you think, oh, I'll just have something to eat, like a biscuit. You think, no, actually, I won't. I won't have that. I'll just stick to, you know, wait until lunchtime. Or if I yeah. did feel hungry, I just have a banana or an apple. And it does make it, it's set in your mind to think I don't need to keep snacking all the time. Yeah. Which is that good. That's the other thing that people think when they do have an active job, they need to fuel their body constantly when actually yes. it's the other way around. Your body wants a nice amount of protein and that's what's going to give you the energy. It's not this sugar roller coaster that's just going to make you feel worse. Yeah, it is. So let's have a little look um, at your food diary for some, some of the days. So Saturday you had yogurt for breakfast which again has got the protein in uh chicken sandwich for lunch which again has got the protein in and then you had a little treat uh saturday night with some domino's pizza well done yeah <laughs> it looks like you stopped yourself at two slices is that right yes i did actually it was quite filling <laughs> well done uh you had weetabix for breakfast do you have milk from your farm by the way or not not anymore we used to but uh, no, it's straight out of a carton now, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a shame. I know, I know. Do you yeah. love raw milk? Yes. I love yeah. going to Tag Lane Dairy on the way to Buxton to get my raw milk. Yeah. There's there's hardly anywhere where you can buy it from now these days, is there? Yeah, no, it is. We used to enjoy it. It certainly tastes different straight yeah. out of out of a cow than it does straight you know, out of the bottle. Yeah um sunday lunch of course was sunday lunch a nice yeah. uh chicken roast and then this is the day like you said you just had the beans on the toast because your your body was telling you it had received all its nutrients in that roast and actually it didn't need anything more so that's a good example of uh your body telling you um, then yesterday, wheat picks again for breakfast, soup for lunch, and then chicken curry last night. Yeah. 1,200 calories. Perfect. And then today, just waiting for the page to load. Have you found tracking, by the way? Not too bad. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting to see how many calories you think, oh, that's not a lot. And then when you actually put it on the tracker, you think, actually, that is, you know, yeah. and then you add it up. It is, it is a good, good way of looking at it. I think it's good because some things surprise you, things are so low, and then other things you're surprised that are so high, especially things like yes. fruit. 
you know, everybody thinks fruit is so good for you, but actually when you look at the calories, it's shocking. Yeah, yeah it is actually. <laughs> so today you've had uh, yogurt and banana for breakfast. Uh, for lunch was poached eggs on toast. Oh, you've had a mince pie. Is this your first one <laughs> of the season? No, <laughs> but it was cold, so I just fancied something warm and they come oh. out just out of the oven. So. Oh, well, <laughs> who's been making mince pies? My mum. Oh, I Properly, should. yeah, proper mince pies, and you, you couldn't really resist it. <laughs> How was it? Did it taste good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, with icing sugar on and warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I've actually noticed that I've been in, like, Costa and Weatherspoons today, and I've seen they've all got something called mince tart which is basically a mince pie with the top off yes it's not right though is it no no it's, it's gonna be, be a mince pie, pie. <laughs> you wouldn't find your mum making mince tarts would you no no not at this time of year it's gonna be a <laughs> mince pie you get your fingers dirty if it's a mince tart <laughs> <laughs> And then for dinner tonight, you've had uh, pork loin with rice, uh, some veg, a couple of uh, dough balls as well. Yeah. And also a yogurt tonight as well. But bang on the calories, 1,200, which is great. Wonderful. Right. What is the plan for next week? What have you got on? Uh, not a vast amount. It's, it's pretty just, just trying to keep on top of it if it comes cold keeping yeah. everybody fed and watered so that's my plan of attack work for a couple of days as well so feeding people as well so we'll see we'll see see how it goes this week it'll be interesting so here in Hatton tonight I've seen the uh the salt spreader has been out the gritting <laughs> machines are out how different is it when there's a frost on the farm uh it's not too bad with the frost it's when it comes really cold and it does start freezing water pipes up when you have to defrost them. It's just the same as in the house or whatever. Yeah. So make sure that animals have got running water. And, they've, you know, that that's all really. And it just gets slippy. But you get used to it. Same as with everything else. So let's hope that you don't experience that this week then. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. What shall we have as our goal for next week? Try and lose two. Two okay. pounds. Great, that's good right. for me. We've got two weeks left of the course. You've lost yep. four so far. What I'd really like to do is to lose two this week, three the week after, and get you your half stone certificate at least. Okay. Wouldn't yep. that be nice? It would be nice, definitely. So if you could just ask your mum to hold off cooking any more mince pies for a couple <laughs> of weeks. It's not it's not good when the kids eat them. <laughs> oh, Tell her she's got three weeks till Christmas. She just needs to wait two weeks. And then the one week before Christmas, she can make as many as she likes. She's made nearly 200 already. So. <laughs> she... <laughs> oh, dear. Well, well done for only having one, Lynn. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Fabulous. Right. Thank you very much. That's we will right, catch you up next week. Definitely. Take care. All right. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.